Sonia and Rahul Gandhi have been asked to appear in a Delhi court on August 7th for allegedly misappropriating the funds of the National Herald newspaper that was set up in 1938 by Jawaharlal Nehru. It closed down in 2008. It was, of course, a, a petition filed by Subramaniam Swami against Sonia and Rahul Gandhi. My colleague Vergis joins us with more information. Vergis, over to you. Take us through what we know about this update. Well, what we know is that this is a case that was filed with regards to the National Herald newspaper that is now, in fact, uh, defunct. The newspaper was started by Jawaharlal Nehru in 1938 and it was closed down in 2008. Now, what uh, the BJP leader, Subramanian Swami, has said that he's got prima facie evidence against all the accused and that the court had, had now has directed uh, them to, in fact, appear before it on August the 7th. What Mr. Swami is alleging is that uh, the Gandhis, uh, together, in fact, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi own around 76% of the company named Young Indians, which was incorporated in November 2010. And uh, it has acquired the Associated Journals, which was founded by Jawaharlal Nehru and others, uh, freedom fighters in 1938 to publish an English language newspaper uh, against the British uh, leading newspapers that existed during that era. Now, what uh, uh, Swami, Subramanian Swami is claiming is that the Congress gave an unsecured loan of 90 crores to the Associated Journals, and it was in fact illegal because under the Income Tax Act, uh, the political party cannot give loans for commercial purposes. And also he went on to say that uh, the young Indians had wrote off loans worth uh, rupees 50 lakhs, and by the board resolution, the Associated Journals was sold by transferring its shares to young Indians. Uh, now, through this, what happened is that this public firm became a private company. So the deal, is what he's alleging, was a conspiracy to grab uh, the property owned by associate journals in Uttar Pradesh and Delhi, which includes the Herald House in the capital, uh, which, uh, according to uh, present estimates, it, was, it is worth around 1,600 crores. So this is the case that is there. And uh, what we also know is that... Uh, uh, the, uh, the two top leaders have been, in fact, asked by the court to appear before, uh, uh, before, before it to, in fact, find out what exactly was the deal and also uh, whether there is some merit in the allegations that have been leveled by Subramaniam Swami on this part, uh, Akshita. Right, uh, Vergis. Now, considering that uh, summons have been issued for Sonia and Rahul Gandhi, do you do we know if this is, of course, uh, the first time that such a summons has been issued? Considering this case has been going on since 2001. Well, this is the first time that a summons has been, in fact, issued to the top leaders who have been accused in the case. There is, the case has been being fought over by the Young Indians, uh, especially as a private firm with regards to it. But now it is for the first time that a summons has been issued to the top leaders who have been accused in it, Dakshata. Right, Burgess, thank you so much for joining us with all those details. No doubt uh, uh, Sonia and Rahul Gandhi in a sport of border there. They're expected to appear before uh, the Patiala House Court on August 7th. Uh, this is with regards to a private complaint that was filed by BJP leader Subramaniam Swami way back in 2001. Remember, at that point, he was with the Janata Party. This uh, case, of course, involves a misappropriation of funds of uh, a National Herald newspaper, which is now, of course, defunct and was shut down in 2000. And eight, according to Subramaniam Swami, it is said uh, that Sonia Gandhi's as well as Rahul Gandhi's signatures prove their involvement in the National Herald case. According, uh, Subramaniam Swami also went on to say that the case involves uh, 20,000, 2,000 crores, I beg your pardon, worth of property belonging to the National Herald, which was grabbed by Congress leaders using fraudulent papers. He claims that the party had even sanctioned 90 crore rupees loan to the newspaper. This, according to the BJP leader, is a case of fraud and breach of trust and the duo can be sentenced to anywhere between seven years to a lifetime.